Hello, welcome to our new series of videos on Google Shopping and the Google Shopping channel in general. Um, this is the first of what we hope will be many videos to help you understand Google Shopping itself, help you understand the opportunities that exist for retailers and agencies to be involved and get, uh, get started with Google Shopping. And we'll also take you through a few of the challenges and the pitfalls that you need to watch out for. Um, who are we? We, uh, we are um, Smarter E-Commerce. We're a company that has been in existence for 10 years. And we've developed some very specialized automation products for search engine marketing in general, and uh, in this case, for Google Shopping specifically. We'll come back to those in further videos, but let's start out talking about Google Shopping. So Google Shopping evolved essentially from um, a product that Google had been running for a number of years. Um, it evolved from different names like Google Product Search, later to Frugal, and uh, about three years ago it became the fully-fledged platform that we know as Google Shopping today. Now Google Shopping is the biggest information e-commerce superhighway of interested browsers, buyers and searchers in the world today. In other words, there is nothing like it. It's um, unprecedented scale, meaning that retailers who are actively engaging with Google Shopping are achieving hundreds or even thousands of conversions every day. Um, some of the major retailers in the world will be doing thousands of conversions every hour. So it's very important that uh, there's a clear understanding about what's involved here before any decision is made to get involved with Google Shopping. So how does Google Shopping work? Well, Google Shopping works by basically using a feed um, which is updated and uploaded into the Google Merchant Center, of which we'll talk more about in a later video. And this feed essentially then forms the backbone of the bidding platform, which becomes the Google Shopping PLA outcome. Now, that is connected with an AdWords account. So anybody wanting to actively um, run or start a Google Shopping campaign will need to have an AdWords account. But luckily, Google have made the tools and the, uh, the, the platform itself very easy, easy to use. And there are very clear instructions which Google themselves provide on how to get started. Now, Google Shopping means that if you upload a feed and begin a program of bidding, your products are going to be shown against certain search queries and the bids that you set for those products will determine when and how those uh, products get exposed. We call them product impressions. Product impression basically means it's a viewing opportunity on the channel for your product. That means somewhere through a search query, your product will be shown normally with a, a cluster of other products, probably from other retailers. Sometimes the same retailer will show three or four products. It will also very much depend on where the user is looking. So if the user is looking on a desktop, it will show in a different way and there's a number of different formats that Google use for that. If it's on a mobile device, it will be a very, very distinctive uh, look and feel. And again, people will be searching on tablets and various types of mobile devices. So the main point is Google will always expose um, the ad if the bid is set correctly. And of course, you have to remember that Google is an auction. That means that uh, bids, there is a competition uh, for bids because certain products and certain retailers really do need to be there if they want to sell their products at the volumes that they have set. So you as a retailer or a potential retailer or, or an agency coming in, you need a lot of understanding, you need a lot of knowledge, you need to know the marketplace very well, you need to know who your audience are, and you need to know the buying patterns around certain products before you really get involved. And luckily, again, there are companies that are set up to help you. Now. I've described Google Shopping in very positive and glowing terms because it is. It is, a, uh, it is an outstanding um, conversion channel. Uh, and if you operate correctly, uh, as I've said before, you will achieve sales every day. But there are certain pitfalls and there are challenges. Um, when I say pitfalls, what I mean by that is you've got to be really, really careful uh, with your feed. You've got to make sure that your feed is updated. You may be using a uh, feed supplier. You may be using a third-party feed provision service that does other things. The feed is where the magic happens. So having a really accurate feed, having a feed that contains good, strong images, having a feed that contains good product descriptions and proper titles, having a feed that is priced correctly so that you're not exposing prices that you don't want to, that's important because obviously the feed is what's going to be showing the products on Google Shopping and that's going to be connected with 
multiple other uh, factors such as the amount that you're bidding per product and of course the competitors that are trying to sell to the same audience with similar products. So getting a feed straight is extremely important. The other pitfalls are that a lot of retailers and a lot of agencies out there are still using what we call classic e-commerce metrics to measure, to bid, and of, of course to analyze the results they get from Google Shopping. What do I mean by classic e-commerce metrics? Well, what I mean here is that the whole of the Google AdWords e-commerce ecosystem was originally designed around Google text ads through the AdWords program. That means by a series of um, optimizations, by a series of analyses done on performance, on keywords, on products, you can gradually in a program like that move keywords to different sides of the spectrum from high performing to low performing and you can very accurately decide on what bids you're going to make against those keywords because over time you've got a very clear idea how those keywords perform in terms of conversions. Here's the trick. Google Shopping doesn't operate with keywords. Google Shopping operates purely with products. So if you put a product up on Google this morning because it just came up into your feed, by this afternoon you will have some basic data if it gets some attention and that basic data will be things like the number of impressions, the number of clicks, the number of conversions, if you're lucky enough to have made conversions or sales with that product. But even if that product was running for the next 30 days, the data that you're going to be collecting in that period of time often is nowhere near enough for you to be able to make what we would call a very accurate, very relevant conversion prediction. And when you can make a very accurate, relevant conversion prediction for a product in Google Shopping, you can become very serious about putting the correct bid in for that product every time. Now that doesn't mean the, bid or, the bids are always going to be exactly correct from day to day, but the more conversion data that you can collect, the better your bid and the better your accuracy of conversion will be. We will come back in further videos and talk a little bit about how the algorithm at Google will work. And we will also talk about the ways in which certain types of algorithmic approaches can be used to make bidding much more accurate. But for today, the main thing to remember is this. Google Shopping operates like no other auction platform in the world. There are millions of live products, we call them SKUs, coming into, Google, into the Google Shopping platform at any given moment. And there are thousands of retailers who want to sell products for similar search queries at any one time. In order for you to succeed on this channel, you need a number of very, very, very highly optimized positions. And we're going to talk more about how we can help you with that in the next few videos. Thank you for listening to us today. If you have any questions, please send them to this email address. You can see it here in the screen. And we will do our best to answer those questions for you. We very much enjoy talking to you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.